<laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to our Graveyard Performance YouTube channel. Um, today we're going to be going over how to rebuild uh, or take apart your Mazda Speed high pressure fuel pump, get it out of the car, um, and verify whether or not you have Autotech fuel pump internals, Cork Sport, or OEM. So stay tuned. pressure fuel pump install um, this customer's car has a three inch intake um, for the video we're going to take this off so there are two 10 mil bolts right here and then there's this line that we're going to remove kind of follow us through right around here and then with it having an aftermarket intake, this makes it a little bit easier. Go pop that off, set that aside. And if you want to bring the camera in closer, you can see this is your high pressure fuel pump. Both of your fuel lines. So you have the one with the blue clip and then you have the yellow clip. Blue clip, basically pull the backside, splits like that, pull straight up. There is gonna be a little bit of fuel. Set that aside. And then we're gonna need a flat blade screwdriver. If you're doing this after the car has been driven, there's gonna be tons of pressure built up in these lines. Um, so just be very careful. Or just let the car sit for a couple hours, let the pressure bleed off. And that comes off. Set that line aside. And then you have three bolts. You're gonna have this one here, which is, these are E8 torques, inverted torques. So you got that one, that one. Can you see? You got that one. And then there's one directly under right here. You can kind of see right there. And then there's a 19 mil on the hard line right down there. You can kind of see that. All right, so like I said, E8 inverted torques. So get in there. Push that one, just kind of break them loose. Hard line is going to be a 19 millimeter. It's kind of a pain to get to. Wow. <laughs> to loosen it, you go towards uh, the battery box. So, to loosen, you're going to pull it this way. So, you'll be pulling it that way. And then tightening will be the opposite. And just spin that nut off. Those are all off. We're gonna just wiggle your pump out. Sometimes it gets a little stuck. There you go. So now that we have the pump out, we are gonna do a comparison. This car has Autotech internals. So if you compare, this is an OEM one, and this is the Autotech. So just right off the bat, if you wanna check to see if you have high pressure fuel pump, you're gonna see that this one has the black tip with the retainers and keepers, and this one's just flat. There's nothing like that. So to pull it apart, you can grab this spring, pull straight up, shaft will come out, spring will separate, and then this nut right here is gonna be an 18 millimeter, and you'll just pop that off. So 
that's gonna be a housing. These tend to get gunked up. You can kind of see on the bottom. This is gonna be part of the OEM one. This sits right up in there and it just drops in. All right, so now that we have the OEM pump disassembled, we're gonna go ahead and show you how to install the AutoTech internals. Um, you're gonna to need to take over that portion of the pump and the spring, the rest of it's gonna get discarded. Um, so at this point, you're gonna take this part of the pump and you are going to grab this chingus as well. You wanna make sure that the AutoTech label is facing upwards when you put it in. You do wanna make sure you have some lubrication on the shaft. Um, we have already gone ahead and done that and you just wanna give it a couple rotations and kind of slide it up there. Once it goes in, make sure you pull that shaft all the way up. This is gonna make it easier to install your uh, retainer and keepers. So after you've gone ahead and done that, you'll add the spring on. You wanna give it a little bit of a rotation until it's fully seated on the bottom portion. You'll go ahead and put your retainer on there and then we like to use a, a magnet just to grab the top of these. Um, you want to make sure that the bottom, the smaller portion on the bottom is what is going into it. So we'll go ahead and slide that on in there. And it's going to be put right there. We'll grab the other one. That went crooked. There we go. And we'll slide that other one right in there next to it. Now, once those keepers are installed, you're gonna see you still have room on the shaft. So all you're gonna do is push down on that. And now your AutoTech fuel pump internals have successfully been installed and you'll just need to go ahead and reassemble the pump. All right, now that we got the shaft assembled, we're gonna go ahead and screw it back in. And the torque spec is gonna be 40 foot pounds. So you can see down here where that 19 millimeter nut kind of falls down on that. Um, it makes it easier if you put a zip tie just right under it. We didn't do that in this video because I forgot to, but that kind of just slips down. Pump comes back in. Have to wiggle it a little bit. So I made the mistake of not putting a zip tie and the result of that, your 19 mil falls all the way down and you got to get a magnet. It's kind of a pain to grab onto it. And then you're just gonna have to finesse it. Then you wanna go ahead and I think it's easier to do that before you put these three bolts in. Helps line up the line a little bit better. Don't Make sure you don't cross thread that. Um, I like to do it hand tight for right now, just to make sure it doesn't cross. And then I will go ahead, throw in the Torx bolts. I'll make sure they start by hand so they don't strip. And then start sticking them in. So with this one, I like to bounce around and tighten this one a little bit, then come to the top, tighten this corner, just to kind of help suck the pump in. And 
these don't get very tight. Basically, once they get snug, just give her another little quarter turn. And that's that. And then you're gonna do the final tightening on the bottom one. Torque spec on this one is going to be 36 foot pounds, I believe. But after that, it's basically installed. Just make sure you get your fuel line. Yellow is going to go on this first one. Push that all the way down. You're going to feel it kind of click. Push the yellow clip in. And then this one goes on this back one. You're just going to push down. You'll hear it and you'll kind of feel it click into place. After that, Make sure you plug this in, because if you don't, the car's not gonna be happy. Click that. And then that first line you disconnected, actually before that, let's get this hose that comes off the intake. Slide that back. Then this one comes over. There is a spot on this bracket the line will slip in to this piece. Shut that one on there. And this goes in, locks in, and then you're done.